So I had the privilege to participate in ESMO 2021 in this controversy session, whether all patients with newly diagnosed metastatic breast cancer should receive a NGS test, a multi-gene pineal test. Uh, my opponent was Dr. Cristina Saura from Barcelona. She was pro, I was against. Uh, and I'll defend my point of view why I think not all patients or newly diagnosed should receive an NGS test. Because today we have different treatment lines for our patients first line. First line for hormone receptor positive versus two negative. You have CDK46 inhibitors, so they improve progressive survival, they improve overall survival. For R2 positive, you have taxanes, pertuzumab, tertuzumab that improve the overall survival as well. And for triple negative with PDL1 positive tumors, we have immune checkpoint inhibitors with uh, chemotherapy. So it's very difficult uh, to perform a test and to, do, to change treatment of those patients. One thing that they sh we should encourage the patients is to include them in platform testing those, in research uh, protocols. This, I think, is valid, but still we have to think that if, if you test 100 patients, you're going to include only about 10, 13% in a clinical trial or you're going to have a genomic target therapy for those patients. So still the utility is very low, but I think it's very important for us for research to test heterogeneity, to understand the history of the breast cancer disease, and to see how the behavior of the disease is. So, but this should be done in context of clinical trials. Not all patients should receive NGS newly diagnosed. All during the course of the disease, I encourage strongly to include those patients in research platforms.